हेलो एवरीवन आई एम पिंकी नारंग टीचीटी सोशल साइंस फ्रॉम टेक्निया इंटरनेशनल स्कूल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक इंडस्ट्रीज टू स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट आई टेल यू व्हाट आर इंडस्ट्रीज एन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज कंसर्न विद प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ मिनरल्स और प्रोविजंस ऑफ सर्विसेज इज कॉल्ड एन इंडस्ट्री नाउ आई विल टेल यू दिस इंडस्ट्रीज हाउ दे हैव बीन क्लासिफाइड the industries can be classified on the basis of raw material size and ownership so to begin with let's discuss the classification of industries firstly i tell you on the basis of raw material that is agro based industries mineral based industries brine based industries and forest based industries now let's talk about agro based industries these industries use plant and animal based products as their raw material food processing vegetable oil cotton textile dairy products and leather industries are examples of agro based industries now come to mineral based industries these are primary industries that use mineral ore as their raw materials the product of these industries feed other industries also iron made from iron ore is the product of mineral based industry this is used as a raw material for the manufacture of a number of other products such as heavy machinery building materials and railway coaches Now third is marine based industries they are the products from the sea and oceans as raw material industries processing seafood or manufacturing fish oil are examples of such industries the fourth one is forest based industries this industries utilize forest produce as raw material the industries associated with forest are pulp and paper furniture buildings etc Now classification of industries on the basis of size based on size industries can be classified into two categories first one is small scale and second one is large scale cottage or household industries are a type of small scale industry where the products are manufactured by hand or by the artisans basket weaving poetry and other handicrafts are the examples of cottage industry Small scale industries use lesser amount of capital and technology as compared to large scale industries. Large volume of products are invested, investment of capital is higher and the technology used is superior in large scale industries. Silk weaving and food processing industries are small scale industries. Production of automobiles and heavy machinery are large scale industries. The next is classification of industries on the basis of ownership. That is private sector industries public sector industries joint sector industries and cooperative sector industries first is private sector industries these industries are owned and operated by individuals or a group of individuals now the public sector industries these are owned and operated by the government such as hindustan limited steel authority of india limited now next is joint sector industries which are basically owned and operated by the state and individuals or a group of individuals maruti udyog limited is a example of joint sector industry last under this classification is cooperative sector industry that are owned and operated by producers or suppliers of raw materials workers or both you can say anand milk union limited and sudha dairy are success stories of cooperative industries now there are various factors that affect the location of industries few of them are availability of raw material land water labor power capital transport market etc industries are situated where some or other factors are easily available now i'll introduce you about industrial system an industrial system consists of inputs processes and outputs the inputs are the raw materials labor cost of land transport power and other infrastructure the process include a wide range of activities that convert the raw material into a finished product the output or the end products or the income earned from it now lastly i'll tell you about three major industries of the world first is iron and steel industries this industries are famously known as the feeders of all other industries the product of these industries are used as raw materials in other industries also as we learn the industrial system the industry comprises of various inputs processes and outputs the input includes raw material such as iron ore labor capital 
and other infrastructure. Iron ore is then converted into steel by various processes like smelting and refining. Finally, the output is steel. Steel and iron can be called as the basic material needed in every other industries. No doubt, they are the backbone of modern industries. In a developing country like India, iron and steel industry has taken the advantage of the cheap labor, raw material and the ready market. India, Germany, USA, China, Russia, Korea, etc. are the countries where steel industries are located. Now next is textile industries. Textile is a fabric that is woven from fibers. It takes raw material like cotton or wool and the process called spinning turns into a yarn that is later used to create the fabric. Fibers can be natural or man-made. Natural fibers are cotton, jute, wool and silk. Man-made fibers are nylon, rayon and polyester. The man has been wearing and using fabric since ancient times. The textile industry is one of the oldest industries in the world. And until the industrial revolution, the textile industry used wheels and looms to weave fiber. During the revolution, power looms were introduced first in Britain. After that, textile industries expanded in Mumbai. Because of its warm, moist climate, facility of port for importing machinery and exporting the output, and above all the availability of cheap labor. Some of the well-known and highly demanded fibers are muslin from Musli Patnam and broad cotton from Surat. Now, last is information and technology industries. Today, information and technology industry has become global and has become the fastest growing industry in the world. The information technology industry deals in the storage, processing and distribution of information through radio, television, telephones, cellular phones, computers, laptops, etc. Availability of resources, cost and infrastructure are the main factors responsible for the location of these kind of industries. The major hubs of the IT industry are the Silicon Valley and Bengaluru in India. So today, I try to explain you about industries. Hope you all like it. Thank you very much.